Hello, good evening students. Today's lecture is based on simple harmonic motion and we are going to derive the total energy of simple harmonic motion. Energy and simple harmonic motion that is your SHM. Now, as we already know that the total energy here total energy that we are going to suppose u it is the sum of the potential energy plus kinetic energy and we are presuming that potential energy it is going to be ep and kinetic energy is going to be ek now we have to derive firstly the values of ep and value of ek so that we can get the total value of that simple harmonic motion now firstly for our ease we are going to derive the value of the total kinetic energy kinetic energy as we know the kinetic energy is equal to half of m v square where m is the mass of that body v is the velocity of that body during simple harmonic motion but how to get the value of v for that we are going to use the differential expressions dx by dt where x is the displacement of that body from its mean position and for shm x is represented as cos omega t plus phi because shm it is a harmonic motion so it can easily be represented in the form of either sine or cosine here a it is the amplitude and omega is the angular frequency and phi it is the initial phase now let's get the value of v v is equal to dx by dt so we are going to differentiate our function so we are going to get a cos sine omega t plus phi minus because differentiation of cos is minus sine along with the differentiation of its argument and argument is going to give a value omega when it is differentiated so here v is equal to minus a omega sine omega t plus phi now let's substitute this into a first put this into a we are going to have ek the kinetic energy that is equal to half now let's see we are going to square this value so this is going to be positive now and we are going to write firstly omega square m and then a square sine square omega t plus phi now first thing what we have to do now that is we have to convert our sine function into cos so that we can represent our kinetic energy in term of our displacement terms now how we can do that we can convert sine square as we know identity sine square plus cos square is one so we are going to have sine square theta we can use it here so 1 by 2 m omega square we can write down a square in spite of this we can write down 1 minus cos square theta so we are having 1 minus cos square here theta is omega t plus phi this is our new expression now we can multiply it here we can have our next expression will be ek that is going to be 1 by 2 m omega square a square minus 1 by 2 m omega square a square cos square omega t but a cos omega t is x so we are going to have 1 minus 1 by 2 m omega square along with this we are going to have an x square what this thing 
Now we have got this expression for our kinetic energy. This is going to be. This is the final expression for kinetic energy. Now let's get the value of potential energy. Potential energy. Simply the work done can be stored in the form of potential energy. So potential energy is stored in the form. We can do work done. Our work done can be stored in the form of potential energy and work done when done against it is going to be F into dx. It is minus. But when the restoring force is applied, we can write down kx in spite of this. So we are having kx dx because a restoring force F is equal to minus kx. Now simply integrate it and we are going to get total potential energy this integration of this this is going to be the integration of this integration would how we are going to get it is kx squared by 2 this is c so total energy u that is kinetic energy plus potential energy and in spite we are having an expression 1 by 2 m omega square 